Engineering applies to everything you touch. So everything you approach in your daily life becomes, how do I accomplish the goal of this task? We are a connector company, but we do things like cable assemblies, flex assemblies. Providing power solutions to many markets, such as server and storage, data center, telecom, energy markets, electric vehicles. The thing I enjoy most about engineering here at Amphenol is you're never going to find anyone who will tell you that they can't help you. My engineering skills help me in my everyday life with problem solving, fixing things that are broken, thinking through how to solve problems from start to finish, put things in order. One of the things that drew me to engineering was the technology advancements that we were seeing at the time. Always are looking for the best and easiest way to do things. Engineers think in terms of designing experiments, even around the most simple tasks. We work in a very detail-oriented field with really difficult challenges on a daily basis. And the best part about working in our engineering group is that I work with a lot of great engineers and we always find an answer. Our BGA technology sets us apart from others because we mass place the solder balls onto the part. We're very prominent in that field, so we consider ourselves like the experts of BGA connectors. It's a ball grid array where you have solder balls attached to the bottom of a connector. And it's the shape of the ball pocket that helps the connector. When we reflow it to a board, it helps self-center that connector onto the board. And then on the back side of that connector that attaches to the board is a whole bunch of solder balls. And they're like 30 thousandths diameter. So they're pretty small. But the equipment we have can place 4,800 of those solder balls at one time onto a part, which a lot of our competitors can't do. We're gonna take a walk and I'm gonna show you the BGA process. So this is the BGA line. What we do here is we attach the ball to the back side of the connector. So the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna load the tray with the connectors. And then once they're loaded into the tray, they're gonna bring it to the screen printer. The screen printer is a solder paste with uh, fiducials in the screen and a squeegee that comes across and it's gonna fill up those backside ball pockets with solder paste. After it comes out of the screen printer, it's gonna go into the BGA machine. And the BGA machine is gonna take and pick up a whole row of solder balls at one time. We go into the back of the machine here, place the tray in, the conveyor rides it into the center section of the machine. This head picks up all the solder balls, moves to the center section and places half the tray at a time. Then whenever that's all completed, it comes out and then we have a tray full of finished product. In service, out in the field, they have to withstand certain levels of vibration. They're exposed to different environments, see those results and know with confidence that that particular product family can perform to those levels based on the testing. The drive has always been to make connectors smaller and smaller, make them perform better and better. It allows us to keep on top of the latest technologies. Our technology group, our SI group, is really good at helping us design and develop high-speed connections and good quality connections, which really sets us apart from everybody else. Very big priority of our group has always been and will continue to be customer support. We don't just sell the connector. We sell the interface that attaches to the customer's applications and we understand that. So our primary goal is always to make sure that we're giving them the best design achievable. Our team does make a difference. Everything that we do today requires power. And our team not only develops products, but we actively engage with the customers. We pride ourselves on early engagement. So the sooner we can get engaged with our customer, the faster we can understand what they're trying to do and we can provide them a solution. There's no challenge too small. There's no challenge too big. We want to make sure that the customer has the best product we have to offer. So that's why engineers exist. We make sure that whatever the need is, is fulfilled by the product that's there.